Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone is doing well and enjoying the warm weather we've been having. I understand that you've been having some discussion with your counselors about careers and career exploration. So I thought today that perhaps I might talk a little bit about vocation and calling from a faith perspective. In my faith tradition, and I know in many others, there is a belief that we are all put on this earth to make a difference, to do something worthwhile and meaningful with our lives, and to use our time and our talents, the gifts that we've been given, to benefit not just ourselves and our families, but the wider community as well. This is often referred to as a vocation or a calling. The dictionary defines vocation as a strong feeling of suitability for a particular career or occupation. The word vocation comes from the Latin word vocare, which actually means to call. To identify a particular job or a career as your vocation or your call means to recognize it as something that you feel called to do, whether called by God or just called by some force, some feeling deep with inside of you. When I first began to explore the idea of becoming an Episcopal priest, it was something that I felt a call to do. And I worked out and confirmed that sense of call with my family, my friends, and my faith community for a long time before I actually began formally studying as a priest. And this was a formal process called discernment. But this sense of call is not something that's just limited to clergy. I would bet that most, if not all, of your teachers would say that the reason that they are teaching is that they felt a sense of calling to become educators, to make a difference in young people's lives. Most doctors and nurses and others in the medical field feel a sense of call to help heal the sick. Artists feel a sense of call to create and to express beauty through their chosen medium. Engineers feel a call to build or design or to provide solutions to complex problems. A custodian may feel a call to help people by caring for the buildings that we use and making sure that we're in an environment that is safe and clean. And this sense of call is not just limited to paid careers. A person can feel a sense of call to almost anything. Sometimes this looks like the choice to stay and raise a family at home, a calling to be a homemaker, or to serve as a volunteer in a faith community, or to serve working at a charity in our free time. A sense of call to a particular vocation is something that should be explored, talked about, tested, and if you're a person of faith, prayed about. That's what discernment is. If you think you want to be a doctor, why is that? Is it because you feel a desire to help people, to help heal people? Is it because you have an interest and an aptitude for biology and anatomy? Is it some other reason? When thinking about a career or a vocation, can you close your eyes and imagine yourself doing it? And if you can, can you imagine it bringing you a sense of joy and fulfillment? Can you imagine it bringing joy to others or helping the needs of others? A man named Frederick, Frederick Beekner once wrote that vocation is the place where our deep gladness meets the world's deep need. You might be fortunate enough to have a very strong sense that you're being called to a particular vocation right now. And if you do, that's great. And if you don't, don't worry about it. It takes many of us years and years and many stops and starts and trials and errors before we figure out what we are tr truly called to do. And many people experience a new sense of call at some point in their lives and may leave one vocation to pursue another. There's nothing that says you have to do the same thing with your life from the time you graduate from college until the day you retire. 
The important thing, especially for you all right now, is to keep an open mind and an open heart, to trust that if you put in the hard work and keep exploring and keep learning, that you will discover that place where your deep gladness meets the world's deep need. Let us pray. Loving God, we pray that you put us in the right direction as we search for our chosen careers. Please align us with your will. Fill us with the values and convictions that will equip us for whatever path we are on. Whenever we feel doubtful or lost on this journey, we pray that you remind us of your never-ending presence. We will never walk alone. You have designed each of us and our stories beautifully, O oh God. We pray that you give us eyes to see your plan unfold, whatever it may be. Amen. I hope that you all have a great week, and I hope you all have a great spring break next week. I'll be back with you in a couple of weeks. Until then, uh, have fun, stay safe, and God bless.